Sorry for the wait, uh, my day job's been extra busy. Anyway, uh, this will cover a key part of getting basic uh, functionality out of a USB device. Um, last I left off, I made changes to send uh, the code from the standard RTL SDR library to the dongle uh, using the nine front USB libraries functions. Uh, this is my modified SDR library here. And uh, these are going to be some nine front specific changes that I put into uh, RTL SDR open. Um, this library uses a big function to hold all the various variables and function pointers. Um, so I had to add the uh, nine front dev structure uh, to hold information for the uh, USB endpoints rather than the lib USB struct from the original code. So this first one here will get the control endpoint and that is the one ending in point zero and that will be set to this uh, USB D which is one of those dev structures from the standard or the uh, nine front USB library. Um, next we will go through this loop here and that will look for um, an endpoint that's bulk and readable. Um, there are standard USB commands that USB devices um, take to get this information and the nine front library has those for you. Um, we can see here uh, that just reading from the built-in kernel device um, for USB that we can find both um, control in point zero and this one that's point one. And the point one here is bulk. This R means read. Um, we can see the standard commands can do things like get, you know, the speed, uh, the max packet size for each endpoint. Um, and even here we can see that, you know, it gets the ID numbers and even can fetch this little text string that says uh, what the thing is. Anyway, I basically uh, copied this loop here um, from other USB drivers in 9Front. This E bulk and E in are checking for bulk data and read. Uh, when it finds an endpoint that does both, it uh, assigns it to this other nine front USB structure called read radio. Um, and so when I want to send commands to the dongle, it sends them to that USB D. Um, but when I want to read the audio output, I can do that through read radio. And being a uh, plan nine system, the preferred way of doing this is to read and write to files. Um, this open dev data is also from the nine front USB library and it tells this USB interface um, to open to the system as a readable file. Um, if you've written other plan nine programs that read files, uh, you'll recognize this O read macro from doing that. And that's the library. So let's see how I use this in the program that actually um, sends commands and reads from the dongle. Um, so all this first stuff here is just setting variables. Let's see, all right. So and here's the first call to RTL SDR open. Um, once it finds a dongle, um, and then runs the code to probe for the tuner in there. Um, and I can start, after it does that, <clears throat> I can start using these other RTL SDR functions that actually send commands um, to the dongle. Uh, you can see I have a lot of them commented out right now. I've been going through testing, turning things off and on to see what the various functionality will be. And then here I have a little loop and this will repeatedly read um, read out raw data from the read endpoint. So uh, for this, I don't need to use the um, to send a USB command. Uh, we already told NineFront's USB library to set up this endpoint to act as a readable file. Um, so this read here is just a standard read. Um, it's going to read from the read radio device and in there will be this DFD, which stands for data file descriptor. So that just acts like any other file descriptor that you'd use read on in the uh, system. 
it'll read it into this test test buffer here. That's what that is um, for the size of test test. Um, and then in this case here, instead of writing it to a file, I'm just going to have it dump it out to the screen. Um, just write out the standard output. So let's see how this looks. Um, I haven't written anything yet to probe for the dongle, so I have to manually put in the uh, endpoint, in this case, 10.3. And here we go, probes for the tuners, finds one, dumps a bunch of, you know, reading from bulk endpoint here, dumps a bunch of what looks like garbage to the screen, um, finishes up and then closes everything up. So it shuts down the dongle, otherwise it gets pretty toasty and cooks itself if it's just sitting there running and not really doing anything useful. And uh, that's what I got so far. So the code to turn this into audio for the sound card is not so much um, nine front specific, so I'm not in a huge hurry to cover that. Um, also the code that comes with the RTL SDR library has a lot of stuff to work with the lowest possible denominator systems, stuff like working with ARM processors that don't have floating point units and it's multi-threaded and there's notes about using it um, that for low-end um, Intel Atom CPUs. So there's a lot to parse to figure out what code I need and what I don't. Um, but if you're just interested in reading from some joystick or a Wi-Fi dongle, this is kind of enough to get you started. Um, I've covered how to open endpoints, you know, control endpoints, how to send commands to it to flip bits in the registers, how to find, open, and read from um, bulk data endpoints. I'll go ahead and put all this up on GitHub as it is now. Uh, I did start writing some of the code to make this into a file system, but it obviously doesn't do that yet. And I'm actually kind of on the fence about finishing up this as it is, warts and all, or doing a total rewrite to cut it down to just what I want, which is to have files that cover just the standard FM radio spectrum so I can listen to music. But uh, well, until then, have fun.